Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you the minigame Flint. And Flint is based on a viewer suggestion again. And so many thanks first of all to Dimitri Melker, who wrote a comment. Hey man, love the videos. Built a bunch of your slots on my SMP, but I have a suggestion for another game. I've been playing it for years by hand, but it would be awesome to see it automated. I call it Flint. Basically everyone gets a gravel block in front of them and the first or last person to get a piece of flint wins. Not sure if it's something you can work with, but it's an idea and keep up the great content. So thanks first of all for the great comment, for the great suggestion. And I made a flint called, <laughs> made flint. I made a game called Flint as well. And you see it here in the background. So here beneath me are four slots. So it's a game you can play with up to four players. You can also play it alone kind of if you want to do that. But it's very sad to play it alone since it's a multiplayer based game and it's usually played at least with two players. And yeah, this one is for Bedrock Minecraft and Java Minecraft. Uh, both of versions should be able to run this awesome mini game. And yeah, so the purpose is very, very easy to explain. So we place the flint or the gravel, sorry, the gravel on the andesite slab. We stand on the deep slate slab and we mine it until we get a flint. And if we get the flint, it will be sucked up basically by this dropper beneath the gravel, uh, beneath the andesite slab. And that's how we win. We also get it back afterwards so we do not lose it. So we can prove that we had a flint first. And yeah, these those two disclaimers are written here and right here, so for the gravel and the, uh, where to stand during the game. Uh, you have to also pay two diamonds for this machine, um, doesn't matter what you charge for it, if you make it for free, for example. If you build this on a server, which is completely functional, uh, by the way, so you can build it in ma multiplayer and single player Minecraft. And I just choose to charge two diamonds since I use firework here to indicate which player had the flint first and for the firework I need one diamond for crafting and so I need a second diamond to turn a slight profit on this machine so if you want to play this uh, for example or sorry to run this on a server you may want to charge two diamonds if you use some expensive fireworks you can also charge one diamond if you don't use them so uh, first of all I want to say that uh, this video will be structured into two parts, whereas the first part will be the explanatory part, so I will explain how every circuit works, and it's actually not that huge. It's a very compact version of this uh, Flint mini game. It's a little bit complicated, I would say. It's many safety mechanisms are inside to not exploit it, to not get you like uh, <laughs> wrecked as a casino owner, uh, since somebody could just go there and like, hey, um, I will now get all your fireworks uh, dispensed out in the air. So I will put in here a flint and yeah, if you do that, you still get the sound that you won or you're the first one, but you do not get any firework dispensed. So I have a few safety mechanisms in here that nobody can rip you off basically. But uh, besides that, it's a very compact uh, version of this mini game. And I think it's, um, it's, it's completely buildable in survival Minecraft. So, but let's not talk about it. Let's uh, show it to you. First of all, we have to insert into this uh, hopper here two diamonds. So if we put in here one diamond, like so, we saw that a diamond now get transferred or gets transferred into our profit chest right here. And for a very short amount of time, this redstone signal or redstone dust is turned on. So we then follow the line down here and we move one wooden X from the right dropper to the left one. So we have still one X in there. So this comparator is still on. If we add in the second diamond and I can show it to you. So we add in the second one. We depower that comparator. We power all those torches. We get a nice sound and we get here in the front. We get four pieces of gravel and we have also a very foolproof system here. So we can insert as many items as we like. Uh, onto this hoppers here so if it's gravel it doesn't matter and if it's more than one flint so it's the first flint that will trigger the rocket so we see now green one but if we insert like more flints it, it doesn't really matter they just get transferred afterwards one by one right up to here so one even fell down there and if it's empty if there are no items in there it, yeah you have basically nothing that gets dispensed here to the surface again. But what I wanted to say here or the statement I wanted to make is that it's uh, very foolproof. You cannot uh, mess it up as a player. So it will always work for you as a uh, mini game owner. And yeah, what I wanted to say now is after we depowered that, compar that comparator here, this torch will be on. 
it will then shortly trigger this sticky piston here in the floor and it will make the sound that we heard. After a certain amount of time we fire then the gravel uh, droppers here in the floor and they will transfer via these hoppers the gravel into this dropper here at the bottom and that will be moved by... oh come on where can I show it to you? Um, here we have a clock. If this if there's something in this dropper here and I can just simulate it for example by putting in there like nine gravel or so it will dispense them all up to the surface and that's how we get our items up there so let's get the gravel blocks again and same happens uh, for the flint if we get a flint at some point the, the hoppers here at the top detect that and we have only hoppers in these two spots so here and there so these are the only two hoppers here the rest of the floor is just uh, those quartz slabs, there are no hoppers down there. So uh, they simply detect when there's flint on top of them and then it will activate one of those two repeaters depending on which hopper you get. If the casino game is on and I will show it to you again. So I just transfer two of those diamonds in there. If the casino or the mini game is on, this block here is extended, so the signal from the flint dropper uh, hoppers will get transferred through this block here, will get transferred here and power this torch, powering the firework and powering also the lamps on the sides. And in addition, it will trigger this uh, purple reset line, and the reset line, yeah, does what it says. <laughs> it simply resets everything. It will power this observer uh, twice. And by doing that twice, we move both of those wooden axes back to the original dropper and therefore resetting the whole system. We have here an additional torch that will trigger this yellow circuit here and that simply extends one sticky piston here on top. So we cannot put any more items in there or any more diamonds in there. Let's get all the gravel blocks and yeah, let's see for example the blue explosion. So yeah, nice. Very nice fancy firework here. <laughs> And yeah, now all the circuits are explained. The only one that's left, but that's kind of obvious, is this um, light blue wool circuit here that pushes all those blocks right up here so the signal can travel through. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, that's, that's kind of obvious and there are no more circuits here involved. We simply have these orange circuits uh, twisted 90 degrees for each of those slots so we can get them very nice in a tight space here. And with that said, that brings us already to the block by block tutorial. So I will see you in a second when we can build this thing here together. So welcome to the block by block tutorial. And first we want to start with a 16, that's in, sorry, the front direction, by 17, that's in this direction here, platform of any block, that's just the floor. And then we want to go one block with those smooth quartz blocks across like this and just build a wall here and that wall should be one, two, three, four blocks in total in height. So let's do this, nice. And then we can also build a nice frame around it with those deep slate blocks. If you're playing in an earlier version of Minecraft, it doesn't matter, just use other blocks that are available to you. Then we will get the middle of these blocks, put a quartz stair upside down right here, put a hopper right there facing to the right, then a trapdoor to cover everything up and make it nice. And then we're gonna have here a deep slate block and we're gonna have ourselves an andesite block. That will go right here. And that's where our infos will be written. So maybe you should put a sign right here, right there and here on top. And we also want to make sure that people know which currency to put in, which is diamonds in our case. And yeah, just just copy everything over like that. That's for example the easiest way is to simply pause, um, see what's written on the signs. I won't uh, write it for the block by block tutorial. And then I want to grab myself some more item frames and place them right here. Nice. So next up we want to figure out the middle and the middle should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks space between this trapdoor here and the middle. So from here we get our 9x9 nine nine square here, oh sorry, 3x3 three three square. And from here on we simply cut 1, 2, 3, 1 across and it should look like that. That's our first slot where you can play. Should look like this from the top. Then we want to go to yellow, so we have now two blocks across, like so. Then again, three blocks 
in the middle, then we have again two blocks across, two blocks, one, two, three, another two blocks, then again two blocks across, and so on. That's the pattern we want to follow. You can pause at any point if you am too fast for you for the building process. And now I will get to the point where we can insert our lamps and our dispensers. I've already pre-filled ones with some red firework over here, some yellow firework over there, some blue firework, and last but not least, the green firework here. Oh, yes. So, now that's done, I can move those droppers away and get myself some gravel. So that's where all our gravel be will be dispensed. So put there one block so your customers know where they have to wait or to st stand on. Then I want to get myself some quartz slabs, some quartz stairs and those blocks. So for the quartz stairs we want to get in here three of those. Then we want to remove everything like this. Get in here some quartz stairs as well. And here we're gonna now get ourselves some deep slate, some polished andesite and some quartz slabs like this. And now we'll copy this design over to all the other three slots. So now that's done, everything is copied over. So pause at any point if you don't know how to do it. And it's just the design I showed you here on all the other three slots. So next up, I want to put one block of gravel in here and also just for aesthetic reasons, where's my flint? Put a flint right here and turn it the right direction. And now we can already place here some signs if you would like, they're just um, optional where it says like one piece of gravel will be dispensed at the item frame so that your customers also know where the items will be dispensed. But we, in the block of block tutorial, will now go over to the orange circuit and yeah, let's do that. Now I'm right beneath the mini game and first of all we want to insert our dropper columns so they should end up right here. So that's the block where we want to put them. So just stand on here and put in those nice dropper columns. Next one is that block here. Like so. Next one is this one over there. Like this and the last one will be added right here. Yes, like this. Nice. Um, so now we want to set up our hoppers. And for the hoppers, we just want to add in the first one right next to those two orange blocks. We can remove them then. They should now point into any direction other than down. And from here, we're gonna grab some more wool and we're gonna point the next couple of hoppers to the left and to the right, like so. Then we want to make sure to get ourselves our comparators in, like that. We can remove those temporary blocks as well. And we can also put in here some hoppers that face downwards. So we have here two barrels that should be here, downward facing hoppers and some composters on top to reduce server lag a little bit. Then we want to go to the other side and place here two repeaters, place here another two blocks like that. Should look like this from the cross section point of view. And then we can already place in our redstone torches. And now we can fill the hoppers like that. So we have one flint in the first slot, 18 secretly named items in the second, and then three single slot items. Same goes for the other hopper. And if we insert now one flint in each of those hoppers, it should get stuck right down here. And if we insert another one, it should get transferred to the barrel, same for the other side. So uh, with that done, we can now move on and place here two hoppers like that. And then a hopper line that looks like this. Here's some hoppers and here's some composters as well, like this. So next line will be here. Oh, sorry, that one should face downwards that one as well, make sure to face them downwards, not into the second uh, dropper, then like this. And from here on, we can already put our barrels in. We can put our composters in right there. Another two hoppers, another two of those hoppers, two composters, and then we're gonna face those 
hoppers into this direction. On this side we're gonna add ourselves some redstone comparators that look like this. Then we want to add in the rest of the orange wool, two repeaters like that and four pieces of redstone dust on this side, two redstone torches on that side and I will now use some pre-filled um, hoppers to speed up the filling process a little bit so I will use my pre-filled ones place them here once more and that's where all the items are already in so place in one more flint that flint should get transferred into that hoppers beneath them and get stuck there so then to the next column like this we want to add in here our hoppers barrels hoppers hoppers facing to the side bunch of composters at this point and then I want to build the next uh, setup with those comparators so place them right here then we want to place in the repeaters another two blocks here some redstone dust some redstone torches and the already pre-filled hoppers for myself right here so again, place in one more flint and they should end up right here. Last one, like this, some hoppers right there, some barrels, hoppers, hoppers facing to the sides, bunch of composters, like that. And then one last time, comparator, comparator some wool, two repeaters, I miss did this repeater here, so the two pieces of redstone torches and two temporary blocks, the pre-filled hoppers and then add one flint, they should get transferred down as always and from now on uh, the first part of the circuit is completely done. Next up we want to add the auto emptying of those uh, droppers right here and I don't know why there's a bunch of stuff in there, it shouldn't be there. <laughs> also right here, what did I do here? Here also? Yeah, it's also flint, so make sure to empty them first. I don't know why there's some stuff transferred down, but it doesn't matter actually. So next up we want to build in right here a comparator. We want to build in some more blocks with repeaters, redstone dust and two additional pieces of redstone dust like so. Then a column of those uh, blocks, some observers facing into that direction and some observers facing downwards onto that redstone. And we want to mirror this basically across all four columns. So make sure to get in here some repeaters, here's some redstone dust, that's misplacement. Here two redstone dust, there two redstone dust and here we want to get some wool, observers like that and another row of observers facing downwards like this. So next one we have our comparator, our repeater, another repeater, we have here our redstone dust like so, here our column of wool then our observers and some more observers facing downwards and the last one observer repeater repeater all the dust some observers facing into that direction the column of blocks and some more observers facing downwards great so when that's done we want to switch to red wool Let's get that and we want to make sure that we have two outputs right here for each orange circuit. Here a piece of redstone dust, then two more pieces, another block, a repeater, another two blocks. Sorry, we have here redstone dust, redstone dust, torch, block, torch and that should launch one rocket. Nice. And we also want to add in a piston right here, right beneath this block here. So let's go, let's do it for all the other circuits as well. So repeaters, two blocks, three blocks actually, then another blocks right here, 
a repeater, two blocks of redstone dust, torch, block, torch. The rocket should now fire. Same goes for no, this side. Two repeaters. Then some more repeaters right here. Redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone torch, redstone torch should fire the rocket. And the last circuit. Should look like this. And we fire the last rocket. Nice. So the next circuit is now done. I want to add in now the pistons. I forgot them. Like so and like so. Great. Now we can focus on the diamonds on the top. So I will grab myself some more hoppers and also a stair that is upside down like this. A chest. Let's get a chest right here, face the hopper into that direction and get us some light blue wool. And we want to add it right here, there, there. Repeater, redstone torch, two pieces of redstone dust and a comparator like that. Here on the top hopper we want to add ourselves in one diamond, then 18 randomly named items and three more. If you put in one more diamond, it will get to the hopper. Another one, it will get transferred to the chest. So both of those have now one diamond in there. And from here on, I want to add myself a repeater set to two ticks. And then we simply block down like so. And on this, at this point, we want to get ourselves a dropper like so and like so. And we want to fill those droppers with two items and I just use swords doesn't matter that just very should be very cheap for you and we want to add in right here a comparator that runs into a block with three redstone torches they all should be depowered and we can then remove the supporting blocks and add in the redstone like this one thing I forgot was the note block so we can put in here two note blocks and we put under one a stone block under the other one an iron block and we're gonna repeat it for all four seconds, so stone block, iron block. So that's what gets us the sound if someone wins. Stone block, iron block, and for the last one, also stone block, iron block, and then for example, do like here one, two, one, two. Here, do one, two, three, four. And on the last one, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have now zero, two, four, and six clicks for each of those slots. So we should be able to differentiate those sounds as a customer. And next up, where are we? We should add in here some more circuits and we will add them in right here. So first one is this piston here. So we want to add in here a repeater and there a repeater so we don't mess with the observers. And then we just uh, go like this. Yeah, we can put here another one. And here to this piston, we want to add now a repeater set to three ticks, so have the same delay. And then the other side. Like so. And here we're gonna also add in here two repeaters. Like that. Here another one. Here one at three ticks, here another two, make sure to don't let the two uh, circuits connect. So if we now move both of those diamonds into the system, we should extend all the four red block containing pistons right here. And if we remove those two stone swords and get them back into the original one, they should go down as well. Nice, why do I have so many randomly named items in there? So next up, is the yellow circuit and we have here a sticky piston with a piece of gravel we have some yellow wool and we simply block down like so nice and from here on we can then count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so that should be fine and now the uh, gap closes properly and the last piece we want to add is now our reset circuit and for the reset circuit we want to place in here a piece of wool 
then an observer facing upwards like so and from here on we can simply build it right here get it all around like so nice so and if we now start here at the end we want to add in here repeater then we want to add in some redstone dust two repeaters like so then here another repeater some more redstone dust two repeaters here to don't mess with the observers another repeater right there two repeaters to don't mess with the observers and the last one which is here and it's just connect it like that ah sorry also one piece of redstone on top of the observer perfect and then i want to grab myself here some green wool and also some sticky pistons as well and we want to make sure to get ourselves the droppers installed at the bottom and we just go in here beneath the casino and we want to add in here right in the middle a cross that looks like this then we're gonna have some blocks uh, on top of this cross here like so and then some droppers facing upwards that are pre-filled with gravel in my case so just put them in there just switch sides and put the other ones in as well like so then we want to come back all the way to the starting point of uh, this torch here then we want to add in here a repeater set to maximum delay a piston then a row of repeaters all set to four ticks and one repeater here set to four ticks a redstone dust then we're gonna add in here a note block another repeater set to four ticks redstone dust another repeater set to four ticks redstone dust note block right here note block right there then i want to go over there so just a note block right here and then a repeater set to four ticks redstone dust repeater set to four ticks redstone dust repeater set to four ticks redstone dust and repeater set to four ticks redstone dust another redstone dust right here to don't mess with the topper so we want to add in a uh, no block here there right here we have to remove this repeater here so that one's uh, not necessary so now we just count that's the first one then we have one two one two three four one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight and this one is ten so perfect that's our circuit done and if we want to play the game now i can show you how it works so we have to put in two diamonds right into the slot here I'm very sorry, you have to also adjust this repeater pulse length to one tick and not to two. And then the inserting of the diamonds works properly. So that's our second diamond. And now we should get some gravel. Yes, perfect, but not here. Why not here? Oh, I see the problem. We have here a connection that shouldn't be here. So make sure that that works. Also check all the other uh, four systems. Now we have all the four gravels on top, so one two three and four and now someone maybe blue just gets a flint and puts it on the floor that gives us our nice explosion on in the sky great and it resets the whole contraption everything is reset now and you can play it again you also also get your flint black to have uh, proof that you won so and as always there is a world download link in the video description if you made a mistake or made an error at any point in this block by block tutorial Make sure to pause the video. If you cannot find the mistake, make sure to download the world in the world download link in the video description. And with that said, um, everything is now explained. Everything is now built. I hope you had fun watching this block by block tutorial. And if you had, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to build me some of your crazy or stupid or whatever or cool redstone ideas, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I will make my best and try my best to build that. And with that said, thanks for watching once more and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.